Hi guys, this is Tetsu again with another quick Phoenix tutorial and this time I'll be showing you how to initially fill an object with liquid and uh, this is the object I'll be using, a teapot and uh, we'll fill this with liquid and then just uh, splash it into the grid so to start I will create a Phoenix simulator change the size and center this and I will need an object so I will use the glorious teapot of course and uh, just move this up a bit and rotate it make sure that it's inside the simulator and create a source Phoenix liquid source and add the teapot to the source and uh, to fill this object with liquid you have the, to set the source uh, to brush mode and uh, which is by default so make sure it's brush here and when you're in brush mode the discharge is uh, something like a percentage so 50 mean that 50% uh, of the object will be filled with liquid and uh, 100 will mean that the entire object will be filled with liquid and uh, I want to create the liquid only for the first frame I will animate this so at frame 0 I will fill the entire object with liquid and at frame 1 I'll disable the emission and let me just make the key step you can also do this for a couple of frames but I'll stick to one for now okay select the, so the grid enable the liquids and press the start button and we have something here let me just make the teapot display as box and I'll go here to the preview and uncheck the only selected so that uh, now it uh, doesn't matter if I selected or not the simulator I can see the content and to get back here you can see that uh, the liquid is uh, being created only on at the surface of the teapot uh, but inside it's empty and the reason for this is that uh, right now the teapot is uh, considered as solid so no liquid can go inside uh, inside of it so I will change this by going to the Phoenix FD properties and uh, uncheck the solid object now the liquid will be able to go inside the teapot so press the start button again and something changed but you can again see that the inside is empty and to fix this uh, this is actually only a preview uh, thing and uh, if you go to the preview panel and uh, here under liquid change this to 1.1 you can see now that uh, the object is uh, filled with liquid as expected and uh, the reason for this is that uh, the liquid has a values between 0 and 1 and 0 will simply mean that the, the cell will uh, have no liquid and uh, 0 0.5 let's say will mean that uh, there is some liquid and 1 will mean that the cell is full of liquid but in some situations you may have a cell that has uh, liquid a little above one and uh, to make sure that I capture everything I just set this to 1.1 and uh, I can uh, now jump uh, the, the container so I'll jam it on both sides on the X and Y axis and I will just uh, jam it on the uh, Z minus which is basically the bottom part here and uh, press the start button again and you can now see everything is as uh, it should and uh, this is uh, how you do it guys and uh, you can now uh, fill any object with liquid and uh, have fun with this so see you again